Cubs hosting the Angels. The Angels are plus 154 on the money line. The Cubs are minus 184. The over-under is 10 and a half runs. The Angels getting a run and a half on the run line are minus 128, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win. They lose by one, you win. And the Cubs laying a run and a half on the run line are plus 106, meaning if you bet them that way, they must win by two or more. Neither of these pitchers pitched against the opposing team last season or this season, and this is the overnight odds, so they're going to change the closer we get to first pitch tomorrow. Head-to-head, -head, or the weather before we get to the head-to-head, -head, is supposed to be 78 degrees with 15-mile-an-hour winds blowing out, which is why the over-under is as high as what it is, and an 18% chance of rain. Head-to-head, -head, the Cubs are 6-4, and four, but the Angels have won the last three games they've played against each other. The home team's on a four-game winning streak. The home team is 7-3. and three. The favorite has won the last four games they played against each other. The favorite is both 9-1 and one on the money line and 9-1 and one on the run line. There's only been one one-run game in their last 10 meetings. The under is hitting their last two. The under is 6-3-1, and one, and the under at 10.5 runs is 8-2. and two. The over-under is so high because of the wind. Now, as far as the pitchers are concerned, because they're probably going to be the difference in this game, over his last 10 starts, the Angels, uh, Canning has averaging five and two-thirds innings pitched, 3.7 strikeouts, 17.6 outs, 5.6 hits, 1.9 walks, 2.6 runs, 2.4 of which were earned. One home run per game. He's given up a home run in four consecutive starts. 93.7 pitches and 16.2 pitches per inning. That's over his last 10 starts. For the Cubs, that throw and steal, and we already know that when he pitches, the Cubs don't necessarily do the greatest. Now, they did win his last start. He averages six innings pitched, 6.2 strikeouts, 18.3 outs recorded, 5.3 hits, 2.4 runs, uh, 2.4 earned runs, 3-point runs, 1 runs overall, 1.4 walks, 0.8 home runs, 91.9 .9 pitches, and 15.3 pitches per inning. Now, maybe this is the beginning of a turnaround for him with the Cubs, but seemingly every time he pitches, he gets absolutely no run support. The Angels got their asses kicked by the A's. They got swept in a three-game series. They're on a four-game losing streak. 13 runs, 12 runs, 5 runs, 5 runs. 6 runs and a loss, 5 runs and a loss, and they've been shut out in back-to-back -back games by the A's, and that's really saying something. And for the Cubs, they're 1-3 in their last four. 8 runs, 10 runs, 8 runs, 12 runs. 1 run and a loss, 4 runs and a loss, 3 runs and a loss, and then 10 runs and a win. I understand weather is probably going to be a factor in this game, I'm going to take the Angels on the money line. I will take the Angels getting the runs. I'm still going to lean under. These are not teams that are known for their offensive power. So we'll see. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut and please bet responsibly.